Hi, I'm Miranda Gill, and we're here on Blasto Dos. When I first saw your face, I knew you were like no other. People refer to me as an old soul in a young body. I tend to listen to a lot of, you know, classic Motown. Um, I'm a big Donna Summer fan, uh, Mahalia Jackson, Etta James. I just like the soul, the feel of soul music. It has an impact on me, and that's also had an impact on my music. I will love you forever and ever, but now you say forever and never, just because we went wrong. To say so long. I'm sorry for the pain I caused you. But remember the day I said I love you. I grew up in that Britney Spears and sync type of thing, so I've kind of grown up with pop and R&B, of course, because I find that's where my heart is. The root of where my music comes from is from R&B. Dance, of course, you know, who doesn't like to have a good dance track? People should expect a lot of fun music. It's definitely, I'm able to expand. I was able to see the Take It or Leave It EP, what drew people to it, what songs people enjoyed, and I was able to use that information and put it into my album, My Turn, and uh, there's a lot of fun songs on it. You have your ballads, you have your dance songs still, and there's a couple of, you know, weird songs, but, you know, nowadays, that's what's in. Take It or Leave It music video was an experience. My family actually gave it to me as a Christmas present. They allowed me to film a music video. They told me to pick a song, and I picked Take It or Leave It, of course. My dad called up one of his friends who owns a skating rink, and he was like, hey, bro, like, can Miranda film a music video? And he was like, yeah, you know, it's publicity for us. So we went down there and uh, we filmed one day where it was completely packed with kids. And you can see that in one of the clips. And uh, then we went another day when it was empty and we just got the whole place to ourselves. But it was awesome, it was a lot of fun. I got it. I think Priscilla of Powerhouse and Chino of Top Flight Productions, and thank you for giving me an awesome music video. And I'm glad Blaster enjoys it. Thank you so much. I appreciate the views and everything, so thank you. stuff that pushed me to pursue my music career is definitely having people believe in me and seeing that my talent was creating attention. I have a very supportive family and you know they were there to back me up and help me pursue my dream. I'm living my life the way I want to. I got big plans for the things that I wanna do. Selena had a huge influence on me. Her music videos and her movie, I used to watch it on, on repeat and you know seeing a Latina go up there and make that big of an impact in the music world, you know I saw myself possibly being able to um, pursue the same dream. You can still make that impact no matter where you come from. You know she came from just her family based business and they made it to the mainstream world and that's what I plan to do with my <laughs> family business and uh, you know hopefully get that same attention that she did. I just want to be, it's just got to be. I just want to be, it's just got to be. I just want to be, it's just got to be. I just want to be fun and young. There's actually two princes I would love to work with. One, Prince himself, because he is just amazing. He can purple rain all day. Two, Prince Royce, of course. That would be an amazing experience to possibly do a Spanish song of some sort. You know, that's kind of out of my... 
of boundaries, but I'm definitely willing to experience that with him. So those are definitely a couple of people that I would love to work with one day. When we walk through the door, we're headed for the dance floor. I'll be swagging in my room. Girl, my fellas waving me on. Girl, I sit down and say hi. Run and wave by. It's girls night out this time. Opening up for Prince Royce was crazy. It was completely last minute, but uh, we pulled together an awesome set and we opened up for a crowd at the ACL Live Moody Theater, which completely blew my mind because the only other time I'd been there was to see Diana Ross perform. So when I heard about performing there, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to perform at the exact same spot. So um, it was awesome. I felt like big star. And thank you everybody at the ACL Live Moody Theater for making me feel so welcomed. And thank you so much for Prince Royce and his amazing band. They put on an awesome show. He is such a performer. I don't know how he is moving and grooving the whole time, but he does. And um, I thank everybody for making that experience one to remember. Whoa. Quinceanera, oh my gosh, it was the most amazing party. It was like having a wedding at 15, but I was, in, I was marrying God, not anybody else. Me and my family, we saved up. They gave me the best quinceanera I could have ever asked for. I performed at my quinceanera and I dedicated the Etta James song at last to my parents, thanking them for all that they did. It was probably one of the most amazing times I've ever had. Hey guys, this is Miranda Gill. You're watching Blash of the Ghost. It's just gotta be. I just wanna be. It's just gotta be. I just wanna be fun and young.